I'm going to be using this balayage kit by Wella. Um, I honestly got this because they were out of everything at Sally's, but I'm excited to try it. I also got my gloves, my brush, and my bowl ready. All right, so I have my hair sectioned out. These are going to be the two side pieces, and then here's all the back. All right, so it comes with this balayage bleach, which I'm placing in the bowl right now. And then it also has a developer that has to go with it. So I'm going to go ahead and mix all of this up. Now I'm going to detangle the hair and just make sure there's no tangles before we actually start applying the color. Once the hair is detangled, we can actually start sectioning off the pieces that we actually want to color. You may have to detangle more of the hair, which is fine. So as you can see here, I'm trying to decide how thick I want the pieces to be. It may look like I'm going in pretty heavy, but if you wear your hair curly majority of the time or all the time, you do want to actually go in with thicker slices so you can actually see them. I've done this before and I chose thinner slices and at the end you could hardly see them, which meant I had to add more highlights and I just wasn't satisfied. So again, if you wear your hair curly all the time, you will have to go in with thicker slices. And if at any point you feel like it's too thick, you can honestly just take some of the hair out and cut it in half. Then after I'm going to go ahead and foil that piece up and you will see that later on in the video I say screw the foil. I was just trying to do this as quick as possible and record and the foil was slowing me down and I felt like I was making more of a mess with it. But I do recommend using foil just to be safe and to make sure that the color doesn't bleed or get anywhere else. I know some experienced people can just highlight and get it done without having to use foil for every piece but um, yeah I still recommend it. And I'm starting at the middle and then dragging the color down and then bringing it back up to the base. Now these are extensions. If this was my real hair that I was coloring, I would be getting as close to the scalp as possible. Now not too close to burn yourself, but you know, as close as possible. But again, these are extensions. So that's why I'm not going all the way up to the root. So the cool thing about balayage is you're just getting random pieces and lightening them. Um, it's kind of similar to ombre, but not as heavy. But the cool thing about both is they're supposed to look more natural than anything so you can section it um, honestly I knew the sections I, that I was going to pick but it's not as serious as when you're highlighting and you need to make sure that all these pieces are even like we kind of want it to look naturally sun-kissed and as I'm talking about sectioning of course I get bleach on my real hair um, if that happens just make sure to quickly try to brush it out so once I start getting to the front side pieces, I do make the pieces that I'm selecting just a little smaller. I don't want them to be as bold in the front, but I am doing a lot more pieces as well. So that's kind of like a compromise for them being thinner. But again, I do want this to look natural. I still want them to be seen. I just want them to be a little more thinner in the front versus the back. So once we get halfway through this, I really just start rocking it out. Um... I was honestly getting tired and just wanted to hurry up and finish and I wanted to make sure that it was going to lighten up, which it did. Um, you should always do a Shiren test before, especially when you're using extensions. I forgot to, but thankfully it's still lightened. And like I said earlier, I said to hell with the foil, but honestly using the foil just helps, um, helps you prevent a mess and keeps the hair from going to other pieces, which is good. So I do recommend using foil. As you can see, we're down to our last little bit. No matter how long or how short my hair is, it seems like I always use all of the bleach or all of the color. So this is all of the pieces, guys. We're going to go ahead and let this process for a little bit. And I was worried that I didn't color enough strands, but it does look like I got a pretty good amount. Okay, so once that's washed out, I'm going to go ahead and use these two colors that I got from Sally's. There wasn't much to choose from with Corona. Their inventory was really low. And honestly, the smell of this color was so strong. So I did a few strands on camera and then I was like, I got to finish this in the bathroom. I can't breathe. So that's why it looks like I'm just carelessly rushing through this and slapping color on. But all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish this in the bathroom, and then we should be done. All right, guys, so this is it for my do-it-yourself balayage. And as you can see, I have a lot of caramel highlights and lowlights in here. And honestly, I'm really happy with how it came out, especially since I didn't have too much to work with color-wise. Like, there wasn't that many swatches at the store. They were out of all the good colors. So I was like, you know what? We're just going to do something simple. I wish the sun was beaming so you guys could really see. Let me try to find some hidden pieces. So... This would be 
probably some of the lighter pieces and then like you can see that's just a little darker but yeah i'm excited um i like how yeah, they're just hidden under there and i'm pretty sure it'll brighten up too and once i'm in the sun it'll look a lot brighter but yeah i like this and i did purposely want to keep my roots dark and even up here like the extensions and stuff i i kept dark up top because i just i like that look where it looks like like when you get highlights and then it looks like your natural hair is growing out i'm all for that so i tried to do that as natural as i could yeah now i want more blonde that's how it always happens huh guys you put a little bit of highlights in your hair and you're like this is cute okay now i want more blonde but no i really like this this will be my intro into the summer since it is about to be june any second now but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed please feel free to leave a thumbs up like and subscribe share any tips if you can um also go ahead and follow me on instagram at josie jade xo but thanks again guys for watching I also have a video for the braid pattern that I did uh, when sewing this hair in. And then there's a separate video on me sewing the hair in. This is all do-it-yourself stuff at home. So please go ahead and check those out too. But again, guys, thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time. You can go ahead and follow me on Instagram at JosieJadeXO. And...